Hello there, everyone. How you doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. It's me, Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. Today is Sunday, May 5th of 2024. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Where we left off last time is we um with because we're doing Star Trek Online tonight for for game. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ending up in the main storyline. Even though technically it is a main storyline that we're doing just start, just original series themed. Anyway, so where we left off was we're about to do the Battle of Caleb 4. Um, and we're going to ha and right now I got the game up and running and I got the ship on course for for where we need to go. Okay, so something's going on my second computer. Give me one second. Weird. Okay, there. I think I fixed it. Now, I hope you're all having a good good day, Chad. Good night whatever good whatever day it is if not i hope th hope my, hope my being my entertaining self might help help make you feel better anyway let's get started shall we okay game's up and running as you can see we're on a, on course to kill 4 and while also, I need to check one other thing, because I forgot last time, or say last stream to do this, until we're most of the we're part of the way in. There we go, yeah, I forgot to enable this. It was basically enable the chat timer. Basic, basically what it does is, is, you know those messages from my bot that pops up? That's what it is. It's all on a timer. And while we're on course, I'll have... I'll get some music going. And let's see... What do we want tonight? Let's go with 80's Hard Rock. There we go. I know it's a bit slow getting there, but hey, once we start leveling up more, we could get better warp cores and go a little bit faster. And I'm just double checking what we got here. Yeah, I can't really use these right now until until we get, um, get where we're going. And I got a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory that I got no use right the second. There we go, there's Kale 4 coming into, coming into distance. Just get there as fast as we can. And there we go. Battle of Caleb 4. Okay, I have to alt tab real quick. I have to double check something. Also, it's loading, so gives me a chance to do quickly do that.
Okay. There we go. Also, perfect timing. All hands, this is Admiral Garrett, on board the USS Yorktown. I'm the commanding officer of this task force. Our long-range sensor platforms have detected a Klingon battle fleet massing near this system. At the moment, they're attacking our subspace relay network in order to disrupt communications and long-range surveillance in this sector. We have the Klingons outnumbered at this time. Should they abandon reason and follow a standard attack doctrine, fire to disable their ships if possible. A strong show of force should send them back to their side of the line. All ships, go to yellow alert. Garrett out. Ontario standing by. Orders acknowledged. The Admiral is hailing the Klingons on all frequencies. No response. The Klingons are making an attack run on the subspace relays. The Admiral has signaled weapons free. Congratulate the shields! For power to engines. Nope. Oh, there we go. Not gonna fire quite yet. Oh, there's more. What do we have here? They're running. Torpedoes on my mark. Fire. What the? All ships, this is Garrett. Execute battle plan Sigma 4. Repeat, execute battle plan. Concentrate fire on the cruisers. We need to protect them. Ah, shit. to heal at last by the Klingon Empire. Those who remain shall know mercy in return for your unconditional surrender. I thought Klingons didn't take prisoners, Kor. 
weakling arms can be gracious in victory. Though, should you wish to die in battle with honor, I will gladly oblige you. I'm picking up a temporal anomaly on one of the Klingon ships. It's consistent with readings we've seen at previous Nakul incursions. They're trying to interfere with the timeline again. Ah, uh, yeah, until we break out of this track to me, there's nothing much I can do, Daniels. Leave that to me. I'll modify the transporter and beam you over, past their shields. Once on board, free the ship and neutralize the anomaly if you can. Hurry. We're literally running out of time. Understood. Be us to the Klingon ship. have to wait for more loading. Do 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 do. Of course, it's patching. <laughs> Daniel's beamed us into a barracks. I'm not picking up any security alerts. Looks like we got the drop on the Klingons. I brought several photon charges along. If placed tactically, we can use them to disrupt this ship's power grid and take down the tractor beam. Good thinking. Let's move out. I want that tractor beam out of action. And... One second. Is there anything around here that's interesting? Nope. That door to the left leads to an engineering section. Good place to set a charge. Yeah, let's do that. Hi there! Okay, let's set up a charge. for the element of surprise. Yep. Does it have... Could it have... Damn! Okay. The door's locked and we don't have their door codes. I think I can bypass it, but it'll take a little time. We'll just cut it open with no time for anything else. I don't care about proprietary... Or should I care about property damage to clan? Klingon ships. Science lab over here. Probably the only one on a ship of this size. Another good spot for a bomb. I'll see what I found in a second. A Tribble. Uh, I'm g- Ah, uh, yeah, might as well. That's set up as a charge. There we go. Charge set. Got another door. Another charge. 
Those charges will do some damage. Now we just have to find the tractor beam controls. You need to finish them now. All of them. You don't understand how dangerous they are. I don't need to do anything. Do not forget who is captain here and who is merely a visitor. I've given you the means to victory. I suggest you use them now. Noted, though it seems we have other concerns now. I warned you, Kor. Deal with this. Don't fail me. Well, well. I was hoping for Kirk, but I got you. Pity. Yeah, yeah. So you're the Federation globflies who found their way onto my ship. A bold maneuver, to be sure. Bold or not, you remain insects. A minor nuisance to be exterminated, swiftly and without mercy. Your allies are using you. The Naku aren't here to help you, they're here, just here to help themselves. And in that way, we are alike, for we both are here to help ourselves. Today, I will take what I want in the Empire's name and use it to utterly defeat the Federation. And the Nakul? Should the time for war come, we will meet them in glorious battle. But for now, our goals align. <laughs> Chargers are ready to blow. We should get back to the ship and take out the tractor beam. Yeah, let's get. Yeah, we're, yeah, let's get out of here. Get us moving. Let's do what we can to help the fleet.
have escaped. Best left is the Yorktown. Your ship was destroyed in combat while protecting the retreat of Admiral Garrett's forces. Your sacrifice allowed Garrett to warn Starfleet about Klingon cloaking tech, but your ship was lost with all hands. At least, that's what's in the history books. I've brought you and the crew members I could save to the early 25th century. You're being recruited as a temporal agent. Since you're dead, we're giving you a new identity. We have a speed training and reacclimation process that will help you to fit in. I know okay. this is a bit unusual, but you'll get used to it. Okay, let's just... Get a tactical officer. Not now. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. <laughs> Busy day on the holodeck, sir? I love dressing up for those historical holo novels, too. My Harry Mud costume took first prize last year. That being said, you're scheduled for a meeting with the top brass, so you, you might want to update your uniform beforehand. The Admiral can be a stickler for that sort of detail, after all. Okay, thank you. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. You're scheduled for a meeting with the top brass, so you might want to update your uniform beforehand. The Admiral can be a stickler for that sort of detail. Get that Welcome to Earth space dock thing out of the way. Welcome to my sh Hello. You can- And I'm just gonna change the uniform real quick. Come on, modify. Okay, games right now. Thinking. No, just show what I have. Let's go with... Let's go with the Odyssey one. I'll take care of the bridge officers at another time. Now you're looking sh Yes, I remember how 
how he thinks he's found space dock. Welcome to the 25th century. We've been expecting you. Your new cover identity is in place, and Admiral Quinn's expecting you in the office behind me. Report to him for your orders. Remember, do not tell anyone about your status as a temporal agent. Your goal is to observe and correct, not to interfere. Understood, and thanks. I've recommended you for a command position on board a ship of the line. There are several fine ships available for an officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the shipyard. Besides, I need to give myself a different ship anyway. Need to quote unquote blend in. Yeah, a whole bunch of ships that this thing has gone squished. But I need to get the ships that I already have. That way I can take certain consoles off of off of them. Okay, manage ships. Can't use that yet. Uh, manage ships. Keep that. Need this. Take that. And take that. Come on. Off. Get off the ship. There. And the ship we're going to use is... Is... I don't know yet. Let me just... Let me just dry dock a few ships. And do a little bit of inventory management because holy cow, there's a whole bunch of stuff I I need to get rid of here. There we go. Yep. Got that store. That store. Hello, that's not what I wanted. Those mana chips. And can't really equip that onto anything else. Back to the acquire ships. And I'm gonna go with the go with the cruiser. Actually no. I'm gonna go with a science vessel. The refit that is. I'm just can't really get that. See what else I got on here. Okay.
And we're gonna save that thing for later, so let's go to acquire. Not acquire. Manage. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm very. I'm just doing a doing a simple run here. Let's put on our our phaser ray, twin phaser rays from the Constitution. Put in that torpedo launcher. And where's the other? One? Even though it's even though it's Mark One, I'll still need it. And let's go for a different. Let's hit random. See if there's a Hyperion. Sounds good. And I'm trying to think of a num. Wait. Let's go with 500. Let's see, 5,000. And random will give us the Olympic. There we go. Now we're gonna have to take care, do a little bit more inventory management. <laughs> Keep that. Keep that. Oh, nope. Get rid of that. Yeah, a bit of inventory management helps everything. Better retrieve those consoles, actually. And let's just equip everything. That's fine. Wait, I did swap swap ships. <laughs> so it gives me a chance to get that off there. As I was saying, game, ready this starship. This one's for... Don't really need that. Nothing really there I need. Except put that in, in the rear instead of having... And I'll save that one for later. Got ourselves some... Some stuff in the bank. Um, nope, not yet for that. Because I had myself some stuff in the bank that I was planning on getting earlier. But since I can't access the couldn't access the bank. Um, actually first get rid of some stuff. Still it's it my inventory's still a mess. <laughs> um Here, have this. Have this. Have this. Yeah. And Leon has this. Yeah, now it's time for inventory management again. Keep those small hypos. The 
Shuttle to Saturn will leave in 0830 hours. Keep those for right the second. Keep that. No, 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 that okay. One of those times where my double. I'm glad the double click didn't kick in. Now for the stuff I don't really need right this second. Put you there. <laughs> oh no, I no, it was a case of I I didn't didn't click fast enough for it. <laughs> oh, hello. One second. Okay, something just something just popped up on my phone here real quick. Oh, it's nothing really important right this second. Um, don't need the vanity pets. And I'll put that put these two away. For now, an update to the last available on the Anyway, how are you doing tonight, Yozo? And how's everyone else doing tonight in chat? And since I can now access my bank fully... Okay, let's see. Experimental ship upgrade token? No. Approaching agony? No. Where are ya? Oh, that's good, Yoza. Was this? Oh yeah, Elite Services Bundle. Oh, nice. Okay, I need to get some... There's... There's the thing I wanted to get. That red matter capacitor. Convert one of those into. I said one of those. Wait a second. How many I have? Three. There we go. Now, duty officers, no. Um, not the automated defense. Try to think what else. I already got that. Um. Yeah, nothing really there right this second. Besides, I'm saving that epic token for something here. Okay, Yoza. Let's go. Let's go with the 23rd century environmental suit, and. Yeah, I'll save the rest for later. An update to the 
Besides, the red matter capacitor is a little bit better than when I got currently equipped. This one is fine. This one, on the other hand, is just um. That one's also good, but this um, it's better to have this instead. And I better equip that duranium alloy. There. I think we're all good now. Just get some... Get the money out. And... Oh, that's R&D. That's also R&D. So, we're good now. Okay. I see you chose a fine ship with a top-notch crew, one of Starfleet's best. I hope you're ready to get back out there. A situation has come to my attention, and I'd like you to look into it. Okay. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the Ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. Okay, then. And while we can... Greetings. How can I assist oh, you today? To have to get to level 20. Can't. So. <laughs> Who? The one that was on screen um, beforehand or right here? That's Temporal Agent Philip Cray. Basically, our point of contact. Oh. Admiral Quinn. Basically, the guy in charge of, of everything right now. Um. Let's get out of here. Oh. Let's... Here we go. Okay, close you out. After we've arrived at the Vulcan system, I took the liberty of contacting the Ambassador's aide when we arrived. To uh, Pella says that the Ambassador has certain arrangements that he prefers when traveling. She would like you to go over with him. Would you like to put her on the main on the main view screen? Oh, they just slapped that shit down right away. <laughs> Ooh, I also need to fix things. Shit. Why would I need two tractor beams? <sighs> okay, sensor analysis will be there. Have to redo everything here. Give me one second.
Uh, come on. Don't I don't really don't need this. Okay, target subsystems. go got almost everything set up and just to double check uh, greetings thank you for agreeing to escort the ambassador to Bajem. ambassador soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Call Rec holiday. He will be done soon, but the ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Okay, then. Uh, before we do board, um, just let me double check. Oh my, I forgot, new character, spacebar bind doesn't work. Especially I haven't set it up yet. And I'm not gonna set it up during stream. So I'll just simply... Get everything else all set up here. Where are you? There. Let's just board the shuttlecraft. <laughs> okay, land the shuttle. Starfleet shuttlecraft. This is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. Captain, the ambassador and his aide are waiting for you at the temple at the top of this rise. You can speak to them there and find out if the ambassador needs anything else from us before you depart to Pajam. Okay, Captain. Okay. Paladin requests to meet with her before speaking to the ambassador. Okay. Captain, I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. As you know, Pajem is sacred to the Vulcan people, and access to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin, the leader of the order that maintains the monastery, has chosen this moment to illogically refuse to grant Ambassador Soketh permissions to meet with the abbot at Pajem. This is most abnormal. Okay, can this trip wait till Savin changes his mind? The Ambassador has considered going to the Council to request that they overrule Savin, but the process will take time that he simply does not have. If the Ambassador is unable to complete his journey to Bajem now, he will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Corridan is complete, and that could take weeks. I wonder why Savin won't grant the Ambassador permission. The Ambassador, I'm afraid, has spent too much time off-world. I have seen it change him. His interactions with other species have grown easier over the years, but our own people have become more challenging for him to deal with. Perhaps you could speak to Savin, 
I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than he has in convincing him to grant the Ambassador's request. Okay then, I'll speak to Seven then. Hi there. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Um, Saketh says you, um, you won't permit him to visit Pajem? Saketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Okay, why do the Vulcans restrict access to Pajem? Many years ago, Pajem was used for political purposes. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was hidden beneath the sacred sanctuary. It should never have happened. Buildings that had stood for twelve centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. When the monastery was rebuilt, we pledged to keep it safe from the cares of the galaxy. Only those who seek peace may enter. Do you seek knowledge okay. of the ancestors? Um, you don't trust Ambassador Salketh? I neither trust him nor distrust the Ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak to the Abbot, and has refused a mind meld with me. Normally I could respect his privacy, but other things I have heard trouble me. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Okay. Um, tell me more about what you've heard. Sokoth has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. Tapella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study, and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Tapella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll. She hopes the peace of Pajim will restore him. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Okay, what if the abbot agrees to speak with Sokoth via subspace? The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on Pajem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Sokoth's request does not qualify. Okay, then. Do you seek knowledge um, is of there the any ancestors? Way I... Um, is there any way I can persuade you to allow Sokoth to visit Pajem? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Sokoth says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. I will. Oops, sorry. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Okay. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Um, what business do you have at Pajem? My business is my own. If you must know more, I require a meeting with the abbot. He will not use subspace communications. So if I am to receive his counsel, I need to meet with him directly. Okay, he sounds a little bit more emotional. Do you have any questions? Okay, I've spoken with Seven. Why doesn't he trust you? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason. And our journey won't be delayed any longer. I am ready to leave now. Is the shuttle prepared for departure? Let's go, but you're... Hmm... I'm suspicious about you. Let's go.
Yeah, I agree. That do that guy doesn't sound too. It doesn't sound very Vulcan. Yeah, I agree. He, he, does, he doesn't sound very Vulcan, but I got a suspicion. Maybe Romulan? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's... Come on. Come on, we'll leave or we'll leave without you. <laughs> Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory and you are cleared for departure. Live long and prosper. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, Ambassador Soga has retired to his quarters. We can leave when, whenever we like. Let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 I know about the replicator. And to Pajem we go. And there we go. Sir, I'm picking up unusual readings in the system. We should scan the system before we take the ambassador to the surface. Agreed. Sensors on maximum. Okay, Klingon ship's decloaking. This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Oh, great. <laughs> under attack. Okay, we're being hailed by Klingons. Or actually, by the Klingons. Cease your fire, Captain! Perhaps today is a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor! But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Shapeshifter? Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us. But we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming. And Undine, do you have any proof? Proof? Pa! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. Yeah, it it does kind of not feel the same without sh without seeing th um, the crew getting shaken up a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'll take that into consideration. Thank you. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself. 
then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close hailing frequencies! Stop. Stop. Captain sensors indicate the vessel's warp drive, shields, and weapon systems are all offline. Don't e they don't even think they have impulse power. Whatever you decide to do, they can't really do much about it. Now let's discuss this with science. Okay, for, for um, undying our species encountered by the crew of the USS Voyager, they catalog the mass species eight four seven two because of the Borg. Thank you very much. Um, the Klingon commander indicated they are indeed capable of sh changing shape. Additionally, they possess telepathic abilities that aid them in infiltrating the cultures of other species. So, uh, Ambassador Sokath could be one. Afraid that is a conclusion that we can't rule out. I could conduct a test of the um, if the ambassador is who he claims to be. Unfortunately, that would violate his ambassadorial immunity. Okay, let's discuss this with tactical. They are phys they are physically superior to humans. I consider anyone from our dimension to be an inferior life form. Their their vessels are much more matched for the Borg and re represent a great threat to Star Starfleet. Where's Sokath right now? Okay, he's still in his quarters. Um, I recommend sending a security detail to detain the ambassador till we are certain of his identity. Sound precaution, agreed. And finally, engineering. And they, the Undy come from a d dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum singularities to move into ours. I'm afraid much of their technology still remains a mystery to us. But one thing is, one thing is certain: it is not to be underestimated. So why use a Starfleet vessel? That I can't say, Captain, but the Undine are virtually unknown in the Beta Quadrant. My guess is that they are aiming to conceal their presence here. And the Klingons? What the Klingons uh, are saying could be true. If the Undine are in the Beta Quadrant, it might just be that the Klingons sniffed them out before us. If this, In this case, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay, the Klingon vessel is waiting your response. Call the ambassador to the bridge and open the channel to the Klingon vessel. Let's settle this. My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. Very generous, but unnecessary. Then the beast is slain? Makka! Very good! Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead! I present Ambassador Sokath. <laughs> Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Accused, meet your accuser! Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! Not without proof, Captain! You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it for what it truly is! A grint hound in Tark's clothing! Okay, Ambassador, allow me to explain. There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. Meritless, but not unreasonable. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Thus a reasonable consideration. Potentially. But only if a great many other factors were to be true. 
Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have, in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault? No, it's just a case of I didn't want to use, didn't want to pronounce the name. Anyway, stands to the Klingon vessel. Weapons inoperable, warp drive is still offline. Wait, I'm detecting an energy source. They're engaged with their cloaking device. Red alert, lock weapons. A true warrior strikes without mercy, Captain. I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now. But I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem! Fire! I've lost some ancestors, Captain. They're gone. Scan the area. Okay, I'm detecting energy sig signatures on Pajem's surface. They're in the vicinity of the monastery. They appear to be transporter signals. Life signs indicate they are Klingon. Okay, I'm taking a waiting down. Um, shall I copy you? No, it's too dangerous. You stay here. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain, let not my journey here be for naught. Okay, away team, Tran to transport to room one. A wise... And just have to wait for things to load now. <laughs> Captain, we need to secure the area. Then make our way towards the monastery, which is located at the top of the hill. I'm reading multiple Klingon patrols between us and the main building, sir. Recommend we proceed with caution. Alright, everyone, stay alert. We need to find those monks. <laughs> yeah, opening a cold one. It's actually a so soda, but still counts. Find the crates. I'll take those. Only took the one. Oh well. Don't feel like going back. So. Um. Oh, that took took out. A few of them. Yeah, behind us. <laughs> and continue to make our way up the hill. Oh, 
Okay, there's the Horta. <laughs> Okay, let's take the item. Okay, incoming message. Server really receiving an alert from Vulcan Tapella says she must speak to us immediately. I'll patch her through to your tricorder. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber, hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. No, you go down. You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Captor security teams have reached Ambassador Sokka's quarters, but he's gone. They're searching the ship, but certain unauthorized use of the transporter is detected. The Vulcan government is requesting that the imposter be detained and returned to Vulcan for questioning. Sir, whoever used that transporter erased the logs, but I have a Feeling that he, the imposter is on the planet's surface, I recommend we locate him immediately. Yeah, if he learns he's been discovered. <laughs> okay, we'll find him. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. Boy, you got ugly real fast. Come on, you're coming back! And decide to run away. Recommend we turn to the Olympic and search for the Undine ship. We need to find the Undine and take it back to Starfleet. Beam us up! Captain, there's an Undine sh ship on the intercept course. Sir, the Olympic doesn't have the armaments to handle an undine attack. Starfleet reports that it is sending ships to assist us, but they are about 60... Sorry. About 60 seconds out. We have to hold out until the reinforcements get here, Captain. If we target their torpedoes, we might have a chance. Okay. Ah. Yeah, we're no match for that. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing any damage to that. <laughs> Come on, reinforcements! Try to take out the disabled weapon systems. At least debuff them anyway.
As long as my shields are open, I'll be fine. Scan the debris. Okay, incoming message, and they're downloading the data now. Come for the challenger. It's come for the challenger. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. Thank you, LaForge. Who should thank you, Captain LaForge? Okay, we've covered the file data transmissions from the Undine vessel, as well as samples of the organic material that was used to create the ship. We need to get all this back to Starfleet Intelligence. They might be able to decrypt the message and tell us more. Let's get out of here. The Ambassador was an Undine? I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? And let's go for the quantum torpedo launcher. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Okay. Let's go with the Ferengi science officer. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth space dock. It may need assistance. Okay, Dana Prada is an experienced captain and the daughter of a former Starfleet officer. It's not like her to be out of contact. Blah, blah, blah. On course to the SS Azura. Don't need these tips.
To any ships in range, this is Dana Brot of the transport SS Azura. Please help! Warp core containment field down! Radiation flooding ship! Communications and life support failing! Cannot eject warp core! Need immediate evacuation and assistance! Please help us! Let's get going! To any ships in range, this is please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured, taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Demet, keep tracking that distress signal. There they are, and they're got some, got some, got some of them to block us. Sir, sensors are picking up several light attack craft on an intercept course. We'll need to deal with them before we can render aid. Full power to shields. Helm, take us in range. Atomic displacement. I forgot about that. <laughs> Mask energy signatures. Actually, yeah, I do. Ship. Okay, let's scan the ship. Captain, I'm detecting elevated radiation levels on the Azura. I've learned the transport chief of the situation. She can brief you before we beam over to the Azura. Wait, team, to report to the transporter room. Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be oh. careful, sir. Try to keep a lock on us and prepare to transfer survivors.
All right. Beam us out. Sir, I'm picking up multiple life signs. Some of them are the Azur's captain and crew, but the rest are Orion. Great, just great. Plasma leaks are blocking our path to the survivors. We'll need to use the consoles to safely vent the plasma. As green, the survivors is our top priority, everyone. That's better. Can we help them? Or do I... Okay, need science career. Of course. Bypass the plasma conduit. Small power cell. Okay, to the warp core. Catastrophic failure of antimatter containment and warp breaches and warp breaches intimate. Captain, unless the breach is contained, the Azura will be destroyed. Uh can we fix it right this second? an Orion ambush on our way to K-7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orions boarded the ship! I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. I'll help out your crew. And before we do, though, I'm gonna help you out here real quick. Yep, did not mean to do that. Scan the warp core. If you reroute um, power from life support to containment, you can stabilize the core for long enough to erect level 10 force field, which should hold the antimatter long enough for the Azur to get to Starbase for repairs. It's risky, but unless you do something soon, the warp core will explode. And let's do a little bit of work here. <laughs> life support levels are at 82%. Automated backups will engage to power to life support drops below 57. Make sure you wish to reroute power to antimatter containment. Reroute the pow power and deploy the containment field. Okay, won't we'll repair all the damage, but it should contain the antimatter to give the ship a fighting chance. If the mess vessel makes it through the next few minutes, it should be able to lift to a starbase on impulse, and a shipyard is all it's needed to make all the repairs that the vessel needs. Engage the force field. There we go, he gave the ship a fighting chance. Now let's get out of here. And here's... M oh, Klingons. Well, this is this just fun. It 
is no surprise that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a freighter. Here we go, oh, brought a Velociraptor. The Blazers. <laughs> Okay, small hypo. Captain, there must be a cloaked Klingon vessel in the area. We should alert the sh alert the ship. Olympic, who's a cap captain to the Olympic? We have Klingons. Okay, I believe they acknowledge it. Let's get out of here. Okay, get to the transport room. We're right behind you. Way team to Olympic. Are you ready for transport? The Zur's radiation levels are returning to normal. The survivors of the crew are on the transport pad. We don't have much time. Get these people on the ship now! Okay, Sensors detect Orion reinforcements. We we need it back on the bridge. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out. Captain, incoming message from the Klingons, put on screen. Leave now if you know it's good for you, Starfleet. We are taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. The Azura, the Azura and her crew is under a Starfleet protection. Now, where are you? There you are. There's a Console we found. Captain, we need to get it, get with it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain, we need to get within range to, and try to get transport locker to Captain Brot. Yeah, we need a saver. Okay, let's attempt for the transport. Okay, scanning the Azura now. Radiation layers are normal, and the force field around the warp core is holding. She's out of danger. Captain Brot is hailing us, putting her on the main view screen. Many thanks. If it hadn't been for you and your crew, I would have lost my ship and my life. I'm in your debt. I'm setting a course to Earth's space dock for repairs. If I see you at Club 47, the drinks are on me. I think I might even have a few bottles of Tranya in the cargo hold. 
Okay. Good, at least the ship... Ship is holding up. Now that the are safely away, we should take the injured crew out of the system. Starfleet is sending a shell to retrieve them, and they can rejoin the Zura at their space dock. Are you ready to go? Yep, let's get out of here. Well done. You saved that crew just in time. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation science station in the Kasei system because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. It may be that the communications array is in need of repair. Please make the necessary repairs to the communications array and re-establish contact with the science station. All right, then. Let's set course there. Don't want to want to basically transwarp there every single time. That takes a that takes up a bunch of credits, which I don't want to use. Let's upgrade the shields and the warp core. Do a little bit of organizing of the taskbar here. There we go. There. And we're traveling at warp 6.74! Isn't that just lovely? Hidden dangers lurk in space and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. Didn't mean to stop. Just see what we got and reclaim that. But yeah, we can take that, but can't really equip that. Yeah, there's nothing really we can basically reclaim on. Do 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 do. Just doing little things here and there. And we're almost there. I want to say, going a little bit faster is not really that noticeable. <laughs> Okay, let's begin this one. <laughs> do, 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 do.
Come on, load, please. <laughs> Actually, while I'm at it, since I'm thinking about it... Actually, while it's loading, get that... Set up for you. Here's a get that um sp space bar um space bar macro if I can find it. Okay, I'm taking care of this right now because I keep hitting spacebar because I I have used to have this macro for it and it's just been habit. I've been hitting the spacebar expecting everything to be all taken care of and well, it really hasn't been working out. <laughs> Okay, and just have to... Have to just now simply do this. There. Anyway, she, sir, I'm detecting Gordon ships in the range of the communications array. I recommend we deal with them before you assess the damage to the array. Shields up, prepare for combat. While I'm at it... Okay, yeah, everything is all set there. Yeah, that's all I can really do. Um, yeah, there's a way to check if it's working. Hmm. Weird. Should have worked. Wait a second, it's not the live folder. Which I have no clue how to how it's set up in the uh have to find where it is. Oh! I was in the wrong folder this entire time. <laughs> My bad. Users, public. Oh, no, it's my account. Okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous. Okay, that's just weird. Can't find the live folder anymore. Um. Or I'm gonna have to go.
Okay. <laughs> Uh, where is it? Oh, that's okay, yo. So right now I'm in the middle of trying to... Get try to fix Star Trek Online so I could have that space bar thing working. Well, there's one way to do this. Alt print screen. Wait. Hmm. No, that's not working. Where? Why is... I'll figure this out after stream. Sorry about this, folks. Satellite, and we're being shown that the communications ray is heavily damaged by the co by the Gorn. At this range, we should be able to contact the research station. However, the station is not responding to hails. Our scans are detecting multiple fires on the station. This research, sir, the researchers may be in trouble. Recommend we send an away team to the surface. Let's beam down then. Okay. The Gorn. They just stormed in and started shooting. Tell us what happened. The first sign of trouble was when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts we spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires. The Gorn. Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the crew of the USS Stargazer discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site ever since. It's a fascinating find. There are more than 40 kilometers of catacombs under this facility. We've barely managed to explore a quarter of what we think is here. Okay. Two years ago. We found a star chart in the catacombs that indicated that this civilization had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. The chart led us to another site on Cassay 4, where we found the most extraordinary artifacts. 
If we're correct, the race that once lived here may have been an advanced proto-reptilian race. The Gorn. Okay. They just stormed. The Gorn have extremely long memories. Thousands of years ago, the Gorn hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, that means these planets are still theirs. The alliance with the Klingons has inspired the Gorn to start rebuilding their empire. Every planet from here to Cestus III is in danger. The Gorn. Okay, did they everyone just escaped the fire. And started shooting. Not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. Okay, you'll be safe on the Olympic. I'll find your team. I'm coming with you, Captain. There's too much at stake, and I know this project. Okay, and let's deactivate the containment field. Oh, over here. The Klingon invasion was a blow to Gorn self-determination and identity. Okay, here goes one scientist. Extinguish that fire. Get that scientist out. These kinds of raids are the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. Come on. Look at all this damage. We'd have helped if the Gorn had just asked. I guess when one of your leaders turns out to be a shapeshifter, the damage is the sense of trust. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, plasma right. Plasma weapon. And it's a pulse wave. Nice. Basically, a shotgun. That's swap. Take all. Where's the other scientist? Over there. Oh, it's up. Oh, they're up there. Better get myself up there. <laughs> Give the scientist out.
There's another research team on Kasei 4, involved in a dig at a promising site. Given what the Gorn have done here, I'd imagine that team is in trouble. Captain, we have to check on them. If the Gorn have taken over the dig site, the researchers could be captives. Or worse. Okay, beam us up at warp to Kasei 4. Sorry, stretching real quick. Ow. Sir attempting to establish a communication link to Captain Gordon ships detected. They're powering up weapons. Some more loot. Hey, okay, scan for additional hostiles. It appears the ship is safe for now, Captain. I've located the dig site on the surface, sir, but there's high ener intensity energy fields surrounding, surrounding it that our sensors um, cannot penetrate. I could beam an away team to a location outside of the field, sir. Ready to transport your transport on your command. Let's beam down. This is the dig site that our team was working on. They set up several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield dome. Lagorn probably came in and took over everything. If we disable the shield generators, we may be able to get inside and rescue the other archaeologists. Look up. You can see the shield generator beams. We can follow those to find the controllers and turn off the system. Okay, then. Um, yeah. Uh, why is that attack sour floating? The team here found remnants of a precursor civilization that may be a relative of the Gorn. Take the minor regenerator. Our understanding of Gorn evolution is woefully inadequate. Are they even offspring of the preservers? Shield power is dropping! What is going on? The Gorn territorial claims aren't entirely without merit, but they would displace billions of people. A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. I need a different weapon. Um, need you. Some with a little bit more range. Don't need the anomalies. I was trying to swap wep swap the weapons. Situations. Increase the power to the shields! And just one more now.
go. That took out most of them. EM's shield charge, but no, we need to shut this down. The protected shields are down! Incompetent fools! No, it's a case of I didn't give them a chance to be incompetent. <laughs> I keep wanting to. S want to try. Okay, and just wait a second. I'll only take out two. But hey. Nope. Not really. Other team. The Gorn must be holding them captive elsewhere. We were, we're too late. Oh, eight. Sir, the Olympic has detected Gorn starships approaching from the far side of the planet. If they kidnap the archaeologists, they should be out aboard those ships. The Olympic is locked out to your signal and can beam you directly to the bridge. Beam us up! You are meddling in affairs Sorry? you do not understand. This system was the home of our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. Ah, oh, come on. We will not allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Prepare for death. The hostage is ordered to beam directly to sick badger com command. Beam them over! The researchers have asked if that we leave them here, sir. They say they want to do what they can to recover their research and assist the damage done to the ruins. Starfleet will be sending a team to assist them. We can leave whenever we're ready. Let's get out of here. If the archaeological sites in the Kasei system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus what the Gorn claim to be their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Okay, next Commander mission. Commander Burgess, Starfleet Intelligence. There's something I'd like you to look into. It could change the course of the war in our favor. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons facility in the Hiromi Cluster. We also believe the base is under the command of Ambassador Bavat, a controversial figure in Klingon politics. I'd like you to get to the truth of the matter, and soon. 
To that end, I'm sending one of my top agents to join you on the mission. I think you'll find Lieutenant Van Zyl to be a very capable officer. Don't hesitate to seek her counsel in the field. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what the Klingons are up to. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. And should you encounter the Ambassador, do bring him in. I'd like a word. All right, then. Admiral Quinn says... And let's get going. Okay, luckily it isn't too far away. Just a little bit around the bend. <laughs> oh, in case you're wondering, I'm not messing with this till off screen. Get a whole bunch of points taken care of. Although, I should take care of this. Um. Hold on. Break! There. <laughs> okay, get the ground traits all taken care of. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get that taken care of. Yeah, there's nothing really here to use. Actually, let's go to skills real quick. Um, where was it? Yeah. Okay, and let's begin with secret orders. Okay, thanks for having me along, Lieutenant, um, Lieutenant Commander. I look forward to solving this little mystery with you and your crew. As do we, Lieutenant. Right, to business. Long-range sensors are picking up several battle click on battle groups. They appear to be placing self-replicating disruptor cannon turrets throughout the this region of space. If we don't take out those cannons now, this entire asteroid belt will be a bristling will be bristling with Klingon defenses. Thank you for the suggestion. Anything else? Well, the composition of this neb nebula will make maneuvering at high speeds impossible. In addition, the briar patch contains pockets of metrion gas. This gas is highly reactive to weapons fire and could be very dangerous. Starfleet, Starfleet recommends we keep at least four kilometers away from any of the glass cloud, la uh, gas clouds. This should keep us safely out of range if one of them happens to ignite. Alright, keep a distance of four kilometers. Got it. 
However, this gas can also be used as a weapon. Do you remember the Riker maneuver? If we detonate the pockets of gas uh, when the Klingons are close to them, they'll do a lot of our work for us. Okay, um, as you're aware, the Metran class of the system requires to maintain a little bit. Yeah, you have an idea. It's a little on the radical side. Um. Uh, yeah. We think if we modify the buster collectors to filter out the percentage of the Metreon particles, then we can use the excess energy to go to full impulse without risking the ship. The, I'm not sure what that percentage might be, though. Uh, too risky. We'll adhere to the Starfleet guidelines of, on speed for this mission. Yeah, this is the best we could do. Although, got this. Impulse burst! <laughs> that definitely helps. Okay. Wrong. Too Second, you take care of this. Take care of these ships. I'll say the that impulse burst really does help. <laughs> anyway, you were saying sensors are picking up energy signatures near the large asteroid. Looks like the defense turrets guarding a large uh, facility on the asteroid surface. Judging by the layout I'm reading here, there's a KDF military research station built into the asteroid. I think it's worth investigating. Our Klingon friends are up to some mischief in that base. I w I'll wager. Yeah, same here. Get, get those... Get that up to... Die for powered engines, and... Let's prepare for another impulse burst. Okay, yeah, the, the Klingons are definitely hiding something here. Oh, 
here and can now take out the defenses. Excellent, the defenses have been neutralized. We should be able to proceed. With your permission, I'll join the away team. I believe they're standing by awaiting your orders. Let's beam down then. And just have to wait. Heads up, I'm reading several Klingons in the area, but my tricorder is also picking up additional life signs ahead. Hostages, perhaps? Okay. Let's breach the door here. Okay, one second. Let's get that beam turret. Wrong way. the door. The loot. Talk to you first. Thank you. These Klingons have had me designing weapons for them at Disruptor Point. The scientists who finished their research are taken away. We are the only two left. Okay, there's one. I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but ask fast. I'm going to the shuttle bay and getting out of here. How did you get here? I'm an independent researcher. Word got out that an interested party was paying a lot of latinum for simple projects. It sounded like a good deal. Then I got here, found out the Klingons were my new employers, and the good deal was work or die. I should have known better. There used to be about 20 of us working on various projects. As people completed their work, they would disappear. I heard one of the Klingons say that my time was up. You got here just in time. Okay, what do you know about Ambassador Bavat? Bavat is the one running this whole operation. I overheard him say he's keeping the Klingon Empire strong by prolonging the war with the Federation. He thinks that unless the Klingons have an enemy on which to focus their energies, they'll fight amongst themselves and tear the Empire apart. I kind of hope he's right. Uh, do you know his whole plan? 
He hasn't let much information slip. But I know that he found some sort of device abandoned in deep space. He wants to use it in an attack so horrible, the people of the Federation will demand that Starfleet take revenge. The fighting will continue for years. I'm heading for the hangar, finding the first ah, ship that will I fly, am for the mute, sorry. I'm done working for Klingons. Some of them are honorable, but Vivat cannot be trusted. His desire for war with the Federation has blinded him. Uh, do you know about the weapons here? The Klingons are planning something big. They have been forcing us to design weapons. They want improved disruptors and torpedoes for their ships. But some of their demands have been very specific. Specific? How so? They want a weapon that can punch through solid neutronium, which is impossible. And they keep talking about torpedoes, with payloads big enough to destroy a small planet. Were any of you successfully successful in designing these weapons? There are prototypes of some of the new weapons in the laboratory here, as well as schematics on the base computers. If I were you, I'd destroy the prototypes and the schematics. Neither side needs that kind of destructive power. Both scientists are safe, thankfully. I suggest we locate those weapons out. We can set up explosive charges and remotely detonate them when we return to the ship. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's find those weapons. Um. Oh, I'm not taking a lockbox. No, thank you. And there goes all of them. Is there anything else besides? Nope. I don't want lock boxes. Lock boxes, no good. Makes me gamble and makes me waste waste it. There's a waste of credit. Excuse me. Charge. Oh, everyone's distracted. Another one planted. One more to go. Let's see. Another lockbox. Take the synth ale, leave the leave the loot box. And last torpedo. <clears throat> There's a computer core nearby. Let's see if we can upload its contents to your ship's computer. Data we find may give us an insight on how the Klingons were planning to use these weapons. We may even find hits of Bavat's ultimate plan. Okay, let's download everything. Ambush! Oh, that's food. Don't really want that. Large hypo. Definitely take that. Now, wait a second. 
And small shield. Actually, I'll take that bit of food also. Okay. We have the data preliminary analysis indicates hold on, something's happening. Klingon, so, uh, say Klingon vessels leaving this facility could really use you back on the bridge. Let's get back to the ship. Face to face at last with one of the Federation's greatest officers. I've read much about you. Though I'm not as impressed as our intelligence agents are. After all, you were rather easily led to this system by a few well-placed pieces of bait. I've had pet targs with more sense. I have everything I need from the research station, but I must say, humiliating a Federation war criminal is, as the humans say, an added bonus. <laughs> Try to stop us if you must. However, I won't think poorly of you if you walk back to Earth with your tail between your legs, there to whimper at your master's feet. You have lost this day. Victory is mine, and mine alone. Kapla! Tactical, what's the situation? Never mind, Bavad, Lieutenant Command. Uh, we have more immediate concerns. I'm reading. Oh, excuse me. I'm reading several Klingon ships on sensors. Looks like they're attempting to escape the system. Looks like they're trying to use the asteroid belt to mask their warp core signatures. If we hurry, we should be able to intercept them. I don't have time to deal with you. Better put the target weapons. Okay, let's remotely detonate those. Excellent work, but that won't be getting his hands on those experimental weapons, and we recovered a lot of actionable intel from that base. I transmitted the data we pulled from their computer core to Starfleet Intelligence. Here's hoping it gives us the edge we need to bring an end to this conflict once and for all. Let's get out of here. I've read the after-action report filed by Lieutenant Van Ziel. Pity we weren't able to apprehend Bavart, but I'm glad we shot that weapons facility down. Nicely done. <coughs> After that weapons research the Klingons were conducting, Sorry? Starfleet has some of our best people analyzing the data you recovered. 
We'll find out what Bavot and his people were doing there soon enough. There's a lot more intel to analyze, and I suspect we'll be working again soon. Klingons don't tend to think small, and we'll need the best we can get to deal with Bavat and his... Okay, get that neutronium alloy. Admiral Quinn says you're the right officer for this job. Starfleet Intelligence needs your help. Okay, Starfleet believes that they're cl that the Klingons were testing their new weapons at the Imaga system. We have information that now leads me to believe that these testing programs are for something much bigger than a new kind of torpedo. Starfleet Intelligence received a message from someone claiming to serve in a ambassador of VODs for personal force. This source says the ambassador's research is complete and that he's planning on using some sort of doomsday weapon on Federation worlds. My aide, uh, Lieutenant Van Ziel, uh, will join you for this mission. Go with her to the Donia system. Bavad has a small supply base near one of the outer planets. Our source, a man named Kavalk, says that we'll find the information we need to stop Bavad there. And I'm going to be getting that torpedo launcher. Admiral Quinn says you. See how far away? Uh, not that far. I'll just transwarp there. Okay, let's begin. We're counting on you. Okay, Captain, we've arrived in the Donia system. Starfleet Intelligence told Ad Admiral Quinn that they have contact have a contact in his in Pavat's fleet, and that he's on one of the, these vessels. I was expecting some sort of quarter transmission, but I'm not receiving anything. Time for it's time for the direct approach, Captain. I recommend that we disable one of the Klingon ships and board it. Might as well take care of those ones that are in the dock. Whatever you need, sir. Okay, enemy shields and weapons are totally disabled. I'm sending over border parties to secure the ship. We can join them whenever you're ready, sir. Okay, let's board the ship. <coughs> okay. I'm coordinating the boarding party's movements. The teams are reporting that the Targ was running with a skeleton crew. There should have been, there's been a few skirmishes already, but you should have too much difficulty securing the ship. Okay then.
keep open for weapons? Where do I get s stuff like Synthail? Deck are on a secure, but Gamma Squad is reporting that there are a few Klingons left on the bridge. They have locked down the tur um locked down the turbo lifts, but now that we hold main engineering, we can take control of the entire system. The turbo lift near your location is operational. Use it to get to the bridge. I'll transport security teams to support your advance. Okay, now Let's get to the bridge here. Bye-bye, uh, Captain! <laughs> okay, let's access the ship's log here. Captain's personal log. I have been betrayed oh. by my first officer, a man I considered my friend. <coughs> Excuse me. Falk. Why? He and a group of traitors tried to take the ship. Kavalk is the only survivor. There is also evidence that Kavalk sent a coded message to Federation space. I do not understand why a warrior I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. Let him rot in the brig. Ambassador Babat has ordered me to bring him to the Imaga system for questioning. Kavalk will die screaming. It is not an honorable death, but it is the one Kavalk deserves. Okay, Kavalk is alive. And turbo lift to the brig. I won't speak you through the force field like a cage animal. Let me out and we can talk. There you go. You are my enemy, but today you are my only hope. I will redeem my honor. Okay, why are we in the brig? I was once the first officer of this ship. I served the House of Bavart loyally and well, and fought by my captain's side in battle. I thought I was living an honorable life. And then I learned what Ambassador Bavart's plans for the war were. I could not let Bavart do such a horrific thing. To unleash such a weapon upon the galaxy for his own ends is the act of a coward, not a warrior. I gathered a small group of officers who thought as I did. Our plan was to take over the ship and fly it to the Imaga system. There, we would either stop this doomsday before it occurred, or die in battle. I tried to take this ship. I failed. Now I am dishonored, and I must redeem myself or die. Do you have more questions? Okay, why do you think, um, actually, why did you contact Starfleet Intelligence? When my plan to take the Targ was discovered, I knew I had to act quickly. Bavat has much more than the experimental weapons from the base in the Briar Patch. He has a planet killer, a ship of such destructive power that nothing can stand against it. He intends to use this doomsday machine to attack Federation worlds. I find myself in a strange place. To regain my honor, I must join forces with my enemy. I sent a coded message to the Soul System and hoped that the right person would hear it. Do you have more questions? Okay, um... Tell me more about this planet killer. 
It is a ship with no crew. Its hull is solid neutronium. It fires beams of pure anti-protons and fuels itself with the hulks of destroyed planets. Weapons are useless against it. The planet killer is ancient. I have heard stories that your Starfleet defeated a device similar to this long ago. I hope that you will be able to defeat this one as well. Do you have more questions? Okay, where did Bufat find the Doomsday Machine? It was a floating hulk deep in the Ta'ang Nebula. Ships from his house searched for months before they found it. Bavat claims to have knowledge of the future. He says that is why he knew the planet killer would be found in the nebula. Its location was forecast. I do not know if this is true. If our actions cannot change our path, then are we imprisoned by fate? Was I destined to lose my honor and betray my captain? Do you have more questions? Bavad has knowledge of the future? So he claims. I was once one of Bavad's most valued officers, and he told me many things. He spoke of a temporal cold war where factions from the future used people in the past, each trying to change history for their own ends. I've... One of them, the Nakul, tried to use us. I've heard of that war and the Nakul. Then you know of their treacherous ways. The Nakul tried to curry favor with the Empire in the past. To prove their power, they revealed much of what was to come. But they wanted lackeys, not allies. Our ancestors listened and recorded what they heard, and they spat in the Nakul's faces and sent them back to their own time empty-handed. Klingons will never be willing slaves. Okay. Since then, the knowledge that the Nakul provided has been preserved by a small cabal of Klingons. This organization ruled from the shadows using what they knew, what was forecast, to guide the future of the Empire. Bavat is the last. He has no sons and trusts no one. When he dies, all that came from the Nakul dies with him. Do you have more questions? Okay. Why can't we simply send a fleet to Amaga to, do, to stop the Doomsday Machine? Bavat's forces have total control over the Amaga system. To keep any ships but those loyal to him away, Bavat has installed a series of generators that maintain an energy drain, much like the Breen weapon that disabled ships during the Dominion War. Bavat's ships have been modified to withstand this drain. Any others that approach the system will be helpless. Do you have more questions? Anyway, why do you think Bavat's doing this? Bavat is obsessed with conflict. He believes that the Klingon Empire will stagnate and fall into degeneration and ruin unless they have enemies to fight. Without war, Bavat believes that we will destroy ourselves. Mm. Bavat found the planet killer and he ordered his scientists to learn how to control it. Now, he plans to attack and destroy one of your worlds. The Ambassador knows the Federation wants peace, but if there was an attack where billions died, would something so heinous make you want revenge? If he succeeds, the war between our peoples will be endless, and Bavat will have won. Do you have more questions? Okay, what should we do now? Help me. Repair this ship, and we will fly it to Amaga together. Then we can disable the energy drain so your fleet can enter. With your help, we can destroy the Doomsday Machine and end the threat to your Federation. Okay. How can I help you? Just so you know, um, we're going to be playing until um, till we're done with this mission, and then we'll be ending the stream. Just so you know. And ads will be coming up in ten minutes. I'm receiving a trans transmission from Earth Space Dock for you, Priority 1. I'll patch the message through to you. You can use the terminal in the ready room. Okay. So, because of that, I'm not pressing the Play Add Now button for the to cover us for the end of the streams. Anyway. Yeah, and that's the situation here. Your orders? 
do what you think is best. It's risky, but Kavalk may be our best chance to stop Bavat and this planet killer. I'm notifying all available ships to change course for Imaga. Once the energy drain is taken care of, they'll move in to support you. I don't need to tell you how important it is to stop the Doomsday Machine before Bavat can use it to attack populated worlds. Millions of people are relying on you to save them. I know you can do it. Good luck. Captain Wiles to Lieutenant Van Zale. Send a repair team and a bridge crew over immediately. We'll be using this ship. Understood. I'll join you shortly. Okay, all systems are operational. We are ready to depart. Um, let's warp to Imaga. Oh, great. Force logout. One second. Because I don't want you guys to see what my other other characters turn that off. Okay, let's get to normal login. I'm monitoring communication. There we go. So either they haven't noticed us, or they think we're supposed to be here. We're safe for now, but that could change. We need to scan one of the generators maintaining the energy drain to get all the information I need to finish a new command program. Be careful. Bavat trusts no one, not even his own men. Oh, he may have defenses in this system even I don't know about. Uh, yeah, one second, we're about to have tr triples out the wazoo here. I forgot that food and triples do not mix. Because that's how you get triples infesting every corner of your ship. <laughs> I'm monitoring okay. community. Yeah. We need to scan. Let's just get some people on stations here. <laughs> Let's get close to the generator. Vag, what attacked us? Drones? Ugh! Bavat must have upgraded the security. Scanning the generators now. I have the data. We will need to load the control program into all three generators. After that, we can change the command codes from a terminal on the planet's surface. Okay, then. Let's upload the program. That took <laughs> that took down most of them. There's 
Damage generator bravo done. Now for Charlie. That was. <laughs> the generators are under our control now, but your ships won't be safe until we lock Bavat and his forces out of the command consoles. I've equipped your away team with hollow projectors, and they're ready for the mission. And Captain. Remember that you're a Klingon now. Try not to look too out of place. All right, let's land the ship. The objective here is simple. Find a control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting down the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer who might be willing to negotiate. The Beta console, uh, let's just say that Commander Talk prefers <laughs> fighting to talking. The soldiers here shouldn't challenge you, but be careful of the Tards. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back here when you are done with the command codes. Alright. Uh, let's see, which... I'm trying to see, where is console... That's beta, we want alpha. And let's... Try to keep an eye out for any patrols that have targs in them. Okay. Okay, avoided that patrol. Ads are starting soon, by the way. At least what it says on my screen. Okay. No, that's just a... That's a Klingon. Not Targ. an eye out for the Targs there. Oh shit. That was close.
There we go, we avoided that. Oh, it was on the other side. Great, I widowed through all that for nothing. No, well, actually, I didn't. Captain, I've been monitoring your progress from the ship. You are very close to one of the control consoles. There are Klingons where you need to go. You will either need to convince them to leave their post, or find other means of getting access. Yeah, I know that. Thank you very much. Don't really want to talk right now. The Empire will prevail. Kapla! Out of my way, soldier! Death to the enemies of the Empire! No one gets near this console, not even a miserable patak like you. Well... I see your mission was successful. Excellent. Mine was as well. I have smashed the device that Bavata used to control his doomsday machine. The planet killer is now as dangerous to him and his ships as it is to anyone else. You cannot control the storm, Captain. If you try, it will consume you. Okay. Meet me back at the ship. There is still more to do before this dark day ends and my honor is restored. Uh Get up here There we go, that's when we pass him. And now do something completely crazy. <laughs> that's one way to get down fast. <laughs> trap in the briar patch like a blind Grizzna cat. And here you are again, luring Starfleet ships to my testing grounds. The Doomsday Machine will destroy them. It will create glorious, endless war and strife. And it is all possible because of you. No, I will not allow you to destroy the Empire. With your thirst for blood, we face our enemies as warriors, Bavat. We do not massacre innocents with machines of death. There are no innocents. There are only the strong and the weak. Are you strong enough to fight your own weapon? I have destroyed the device controlling the planet killer. No one is safe. This isn't over. Warriors, attack! Joel, eat you!
Okay, we need to get out of here, quick. Captain, Klingon comm traffic just spiked. Bavat's forces have lost control of the Doomsday Machine, and they are scrambling all available ships to try to stop it. I've been in contact with Commander Burgess. Now that the energy drain won't affect our ships, the Starfleet Task Force is inbound. We need to get back into space as soon as possible. Yes, we know that. We need to get out of here. I see it. Bavat's planet killer is here. Maybe it has a weakness that we haven't found yet. We need to run a scan. Go to the navigation beacon. That should be close enough for the scan, but far enough away to keep us safe until help arrives. All right. Let's perform a scan. Report. Structural integrity holding, sir. We're shook up, but we'll be okay. Captain, there's an unauthorized shuttle launch. It's... it's Kavok. Hail coming in, sir. I'll put it on the main screen. Stay where you are, Captain. I'll handle this. Kavok, turn that shuttle around! You'll be killed! My life is of no consequence, but my honor... No, I must do this. Destroying this abomination is the only way to redeem myself. Farewell, Captain. Koi Kalis One second. Blood. Koi Puk Bepu. Come on. Yako Matpo Se Shugui Se Machu Me Ule. It's Matpo Chu Nipe in my Shakwo. I'm reading significant damage to the Doomsday Machine, sir. But it's still active. Uh, sorry, it Have really hit all tab. Be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium, so targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the Doomsday Machine oh, great. and launch My the torpedoes down that up. thing's throat. The fleet will be here to help distract it, but we need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. Okay. Okay, let's get the music back up. Missed! Oh shit! Run away, run away! Engines. Six percent. Oh, shit. Race. Ah, can't take another hit like that. Yeah, 
it down. Captain, Commander Burgess is patching a subspace signal through to us. The oh. message is from Kronos, sir. Routing it to the main view screen now. Captain, my name is Kamen. While the Empire realizes Optus. that you played a vital role in defeating a threat to both our worlds, I am afraid I must insist that you return the ship you stole immediately. I would not want to have to escalate this into something that we will both regret. The battle is over. We do not need to begin another. Okay, then. It might be best to do what he asks, Captain. The fleet's in no condition for a prolonged fight, sir. And honestly, there's not much about the Bird of Prey specifications that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't know already. We did what we came here to do. Let the Klingons have their little victory, and the fleet can take you and your crew back to your ship. All right. The important thing is that the Doomsday Machine was destroyed. I'm sure Commander Burgess will want to congratulate you for a job well done. Okay, we're not leaving quite yet. Need to grab that thing right here. Now we can leave. And that is it, everyone. I'll just collect the reward here real quick. Kavolt's loss is unfortunate, but he did what he believed he had to do. In the end, he died with honor. Fortunately, you were able to destroy the Doomsday Device and end the threat of Bavat's weapons programs. We probably haven't seen the last of him, but at least now he's disarmed. At least as much as any Klingon, that is. And don't worry about having to return the IKS Targ to the Klingons. I don't believe that there's much about that class of bird of prey that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't already know. If getting the ship back lets the Klingons think they won a small victory, I don't mind, and you shouldn't either. There are very few captains who can say they faced a threat like you did today and lived to tell the tale. Impressive work. Alright. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Now, and... You've done well. While there are st yeah, not right now. Anyway, it's time to head out. I thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you liked what you, um, what, what I, what I have, please hit that heart icon down below. Um, this is our my usual schedule, as you can see: MechWare Online Fridays, Any Game on Sundays, Battletech Advanced 362 on Mondays. I also have a Twitter account. As you can see in the chat, I, there's a link to it. And finally, if you're interested in hanging out in my Discord, uh, in a Discord server with me, I have a Discord server. Just click on that link in the chat, of course, again. I thank you all for tuning in. Uh, let me see if we can raid someone here. Let's go with um Sorry, I'm right now looking right the second. Okay. 
this person's right now, even though they're gonna be right back, might as well raid them. So we're gonna be raiding Lonely Lucas. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there. Bye, everybody.